Hi, I'm Jim McKay with Government Technology Magazine. For police, locating stolen cars is mostly a hunt and peck type of operation. Police drive around and type into their mobile data terminals license numbers of vehicles they think might be stolen, hoping for a hit. But a new tool, license plate recognition cameras, can now do most of the work for them. The cameras are mounted on top of the police car to capture images of each license plate they view and compare the number against a database of stolen or wanted vehicles. The officer is alerted immediately when there's a hit. Stolen vehicle. Police can now scan thousands of license plates a day instead of typing in a few dozen. We drove with the Sacramento Police Department to see just how it works. At the start of the shift, the patrol officers currently go to a computer and they download the hot list from, this, from the uh, Kletz website. Mm -hmm. They put it onto a thumb drive like the one I've got here. Mm -hmm. They come into the car, they start powering up the system, which is what I was doing just before we came over mm -hmm. here. And they load the thumb drive in, you tell it to load up, and it, start, and it imports all of the list into the, uh, into the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, every time you hear a beep, it's going to snap a picture. Excuse me. It's going to snap a picture of a car and a license plate. And it only does that, when, the, when you hear the beep, that's only after it's made a capture. There are different reasons that affect whether or not it's going to read a plate. Okay. Like, well, for one, like this truck over here on our left, it doesn't have a plate, so it can't read what's not there. It doesn't read the old yellow and blue or yellow and black California plates. They're not reflective. This is all about the reflectivity. Okay. There's also some other reasons that the tech guys can explain why uh, the system may not capture a plate. Um, it can be as simple as maybe the car, the crown of the road has got the car tilted, mm -hmm. and that can affect the ability to read. But suffice to say, in an instant, um, when it does re see a plate and recognizes it, it goes out, makes that capture, and it shares that information and compares it with the processor in the trunk of the car, mm -hmm. and it'll uh, sound an alert when you when you have a match. Mm -hmm. um, I can give you an example. I can manually feed in an alert and let you see what it sounds like and what it looks like. Let me pull over here and we'll do that. Okay. Now this is not how it would normally go, but let's say we're driving along. This is a motorcycle plate. Mm -hmm. So let's say it captures a picture of this. Stolen vehicle. So Manual it, entry. So it talks to you. It tells you what type of a database it just hit on, a stolen vehicle. It shows you that right here. Up in this image right here with this plate scan, that would be the color photograph of the vehicle it just captured. Mm -hmm. And then right here, where it says plate scan, would be the uh, infrared image of that plate. And then the yellow box here is the comparison of what the computer is comparing to. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this stays up as long as you're, until you tell it to acknowledge and go back to the previous screen. So every, all three of the cameras mounted on the car have two camera systems. There's the color overlay and the infrared. And you can see down here, if you just look at that as we go by and capture plates, how accurate it is. And percentage-wise, I mean, I think the, Manufacturer is going to tell you in the high 90s. It's probably in the lower 90% range, and that's for a myriad of reasons. Sometimes the license plate frame obscures part of the plate; it might cut off the bottom of an E Edward. <clears throat> um, it doesn't read the handicap plates very consistently because the little DP and the DV, mm -hmm. um, the software hasn't gotten quite good enough to always hit to nail that accurately. Mm -hmm. So you just have to accept it at face value, which is. This system can run far more plates and safer for the officer because I can keep both hands on the steering wheel right. as I'm driving down the road and having it read plates than it is for me to go and type in manually each and every sure. plate. Yeah. Okay, you can keep your eyes on the road and focus that ahead, and it works. And it doesn't take, it's not designed to capture the plate on the car right in front of you because if you wanted to run that in front of you, well, you can minimize this screen, go over to your normal screen and type it in and run it that way. So that's, that's kind of where we're coming from. So each, uh, and what it is, is, you see, you've got your video picture, which is the black and white feed, your infrared, and that's supposed to do that. That's where the infrared lens, a camera is pulsing, and it's out looking for that reflectivity. And then it come back to the picture, which is showing you the last photograph we, we captured. License plate recognition cameras are beginning to prove their worth as a tool for recovering stolen vehicles. But there's another benefit. All the license plate numbers collected, along with their location data, can help law enforcement solve other crimes. It's that investigative component that has police really excited about the future use of license plate recognition cameras. This has been Jim McKay with GTTV.